What's up, children? Son, this is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, and um, <clears throat> we have a full moon coming up, so I want to talk about that. Um, full moons are a time of completion. It's a time when uh, the energy is at its highest, at least emotional energy. So things that we've been trying to manifest are coming into play. Um, so. On the 27th, February 27th, we have a full moon in Virgo. Uh, it's shining the light of Pisces. So Pisces is our awareness, is in our awareness right now. So it's quite, it's kind of flipped because Pisces typically is emotional. So um, our awareness is about our emotions. We are very aware of our emotions. And with the full moon, which represents our emotions being uh, lit up, in Virgo, which is very analytical, will you're going to find yourself more analyzing how you feel about things. You're going to analyze every little bit of thing. Why do you feel like this? Um, why are you going through these motions? Because Virgo is super sensitive about outward things. <laughs> so um, it's mostly about, um, let me analyze what's going on what's happening around me that's making me feel this way you know so your tendency to blame outside influences is going to be high um everybody's going to be really super hyper hypersensitive because pisces is sensitive and virgo <clears throat> is more so uh hypersensitive on the outward appearance on on details on smells feelings physical feeling the body how's your body feeling um, so it's a great time to take care of your health. Um, health issues may come into play. Um, you may feel more germaphobe during, <laughs> during the full moon or you see people who are like, ah. um, so all of these things will come into play. Uh, and depending on where Virgo is in your birth chart or how much Virgo you have in your birth chart will intensify this. I have a friend who is not a Virgo, but has Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Virgo. And Lord, you you would think they were a Virgo. They, I mean, they do pretty much everything a Virgo would do, except their sun sign is not in Virgo. Um, but Virgos tend to worry about things. They overthink things. Um, their ruling sign is Mercury, and Mercury is now going direct. So, when Mercury was retrograde, it was kind of like chilling, but now it's going to be like, okay, I'm thinking about everything. So, <laughs> with Mercury direct and then the full moon, you know, the, their mind, everybody's mind actually, but people with Virgo aspects will be super thinking about everything. Um, but everybody was going to feel it to some extent. So that's just a heads up. February 27th, full moon in Virgo. If you're doing any type of ritual, um, if you want to bring something into your life, you want to light candles before the full moon, um, and then wait till after the full moon if you want to release something, uh, and let it go. But... As the full moon increases, this is when you want to make your prayers, your intentions to bring things into your life. Um, the themes that you probably want to focus on are physical themes. So uh, let's say, for instance, because Virgo is about details and health and day-to-day -day routine, stuff like that. Let's say you want to increase your health. You want to... Um, be stronger you your intention is to be stronger or, um, what's the word uh get gain more muscle mass or something like that you want to light your candles and make that intention before the full moon and then as the full moon comes you know you're being thankful for that if it's something like i want to lose weight you want to <laughs> make your intentions after the full moon as it decreases you get what i'm saying all right. And I, sometimes I think people know that, but most people don't. And I'm like, you're lighting your candle at the wrong time. Anyway, 
Um, that's my advice for you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm just your metaphysical advisor, uh, letting you know the energy that is coming, uh, how you should handle it. Um, that's pretty much it uh, as far as me and my life, uh, for those who are interested. Still going with that water at this time. Hopefully um, the water will be on tomorrow. It's gone about, what is this, Wednesday? So four days, three or four days with that water. So a um, bunch of places. Uh, I'm very thankful, though, things are getting better. A bunch of places donated water to my apartment complex. And the plumbers are here. It's just, it's taking longer than I thought it was. And I'm building four. <laughs> so it's, ugh, you know. Um, so you guys give me good energy because it has been like a long Monday <laughs> from the winter storm last week to, uh, the water issues this week. It's been like, gosh, what else, what else can a brother go through? But, uh, I'm hanging in there and so y'all keep me, uh, give me good energy and Mr. here. He's for everybody's always asking about Mr. He's just taking a good old good old nap because he's been barking all morning uh so uh you guys uh make your reality happen and don't sweat the small stuff because it's gonna be pretty easy to sweat it when the full moon comes around and make your reality happen because if you don't do it then hello talk to you guys later peace out